Hi guys, we're telling the story today of a woman who met her untimely death simply because she bought properties in her own name. So come with me on a ride as I tell you details of this sad story. So on the 14th day of September 2019, at around 11 p.m., the residents of Irese Road, Shagari Village, Akure, Undo State, witnessed a very terrible and shocking incident. At about 11 p.m., they began to hear loud screams. Someone was screaming, begging for help, but some of them residents were scared to go out because they thought that armed robbers had invaded their neighborhood but a few were courageous decided to step out and see what was actually happening and that was when they discovered there was a fire burning at the daniel's residence so they moved to check who was screaming and who would cut up was caught up in the fire someone told the police one of the neighbors how when he got to the residence of the Danion he discovered one of the rooms was on fire and the victim inside was screaming for help but the door was locked so the victim couldn't open the door from inside neither could they open the door from outside and they had to force the door open when they forced the door open the victim rushed out but it was unfortunate because she was already badly burned even beyond recognition However, they rushed her to the Federal, Federal Medical Center in Owo and there she was admitted and began receiving treatment. She was managed for about 72 hours before she sadly gave up the ghost, but that was not before she told her brother, Adeni Isamo, what actually happened. So, um, before then, the police got involved as the husband of the victim. The victim happened to be Mrs. Dorcas Danion and her husband, Mr. Ojo Danion, who was a welder, was not in sight as at the time the neighbors were there to rescue the victim. So the neighbors got the police involved as a suspected foul play. When the police got involved, they began to do their conduct their investigations. And one of the daughters of the Danion um, told the police how the night before her dad made dinner for the family and he later told them he was going out to buy petrol. And when he got back thereafter, he told them to go out, that he needed to clean the room. She said they all left, but their mom didn't leave. And eventually they went to sleep. She said it was the car, the sound of the car that took her mom to the hospital that woke her up from sleep. So apparently they didn't know much that happened afterwards, but they knew their dad said he was going out to buy petrol. And one of the neighbors said the next day after the incident, the landlords in the, in the area decided to go into the house and check what had happened. So they went into the room that was burnt and they discovered bottles that had petroleum products in them under the bed. It looked as if they were strategically positioned under the bed but um mr adeni isamo who was a brother to the deceased had his own version of the, what, the story as he said his in-law mr ojo daniel had reported his sister to him few days before the incident accusing his sister of buying a commercial car in her name and he said he did apologize to his in-law about that and also a few days afterwards his in-law still uh, reported his sister again for buying three plots of lands in her name and he said he, he had to go to the resident to to resolve the issue and make peace between the couple and he apologized to his in-law again on behalf of his sister and thereafter he went back to his own base but he was shocked to receive a call informing him that there was a fire at his sister's house and that left his sister badly burnt and she was on admission at the federal medical center in Owa. so he went to Owa to see his sister's condition and on getting to Owa, before his sister gave up the ghost she told him that um that night her husband brought in some curtains and the fire began from where the curtains were kept uh, it was later discovered that 
inside the curtains that the, the husband took into the room there were bottles of petrol hidden inside so it looked like the husband had it all planned to set this woman ablaze and Adeni Isamo also said his sister had confided in him that she did not buy the properties in her husband's name because she had fear that he may dispose of the properties without her knowledge as it is said that she had previously bought him two cars but he sold them off now the, the police arrested Mr. Ojo Daniel during the investigation, but he insisted that he did not commit the act, that he didn't set his wife ablaze, neither did he lock the room. Well, the police thought otherwise and they felt he had a question to answer. So he was charged before an Ondo State High Court sitting in Akure and the trial began. During the trial, the prosecution called in uh, several, several witnesses, including the brother of the deceased, Mr. Adeni Isamo, who again told the court that the, his sister had confided in him why she bought the properties in her name was just because she was preventing a situation where her husband would sell them off without her knowledge, as he had demonstrated that in the past before. Mr. Adeni um, Samo also told the court that that wasn't the first time the accused was pouring petrol on his sister. He said on two different occasions before the last incident that led to his sister's death, the accused had a quarrel with his wife and he poured petrol on her, threatening to set her ablaze. So he wasn't surprised that he eventually carried out his threat by actually setting her ablaze, leading to, the, to her untimely death. Mr. Ojo Daniel insisted in court that he did not kill his wife. He maintained his innocence that he didn't set her in place, neither did he lock the door to prevent her from, you know, escaping the fire. But um, after all that was done in court, the judgment was set for Thursday, 7th of July 2022. And during the judgment, the judge, Justice Adebo Ega Adebusui, stated that the prosecution had proven its case beyond all reasonable doubt. And the, the evidence before the court, as well as testimonies of witnesses, um, indicated that no other person killed Mrs. Dorcas um, Daniel, but her husband, Mr. Uju Daniel. He was therefore found guilty as charged and sentenced to death by hanging that was the judgment of the court and i don't know if this will be a sort of closure for the family of Dorcas daniel her children her loved ones is not going to bring her back but i know it's going to be a, a, a huge relief knowing that justice wasn't denied that justice was served and I always remember that justice isn't just for the victim but for the society at large and it will be a relief for the society too to know that the common man can always trust in the law to find justice so guys this is where we wrap up our story today if you enjoyed watching this video please like it share it and do well to subscribe to our youtube channel be a good citizen take care of yourself take care of your mental health take care of your emotions be kind to yourself be kind to the people around you and always always be a good citizen i remain dark as Ige Olukun, and i love you all